Dune has emerged as the best science fiction of today. Is it comparable to Star Wars? Well, for some. Some people see it as total apples and oranges. You know, Star Wars is more of a fantasy in space, and Dune is truly science fiction. But the influence that Dune had on George Lucas cannot be overstated. We did a video about this that continues uh, to get views, continues to get comments, and people are, are fascinated between the links of these two. Has George Lucas ever publicly acknowledged Dune? Ever publicly acknowledged Frank Herbert and the influence that Frank Herbert's Dune had on the original Star Wars? Dune sold a ton of books. It's one of the number one science fiction books ever sold, and it's a dang good book, even though it's about giant space worms and everything else that it's about. You know, some things that they share in common, the Chosen One arc, you know, Paul Atreides, Luke Skywalker, you know, and, and when, I'm, when I'm comparing Star Wars to Dune, I'm really only comparing the original trilogy to it. Because, you know, the, what Disney did with, with Star Wars doesn't really compare to Dune. What the prequels really did doesn't really compare to Dune, even though that there was a chosen one with Anakin. Uh, but, you know, it's really the greatest comparison with the original trilogy, what, what many fans consider Star Wars. You know, and other things could be debatable. I don't know. It's up to you. But both have, in, have included the mysterious force. You know, with Dune, you have the Bene Gesserit. In Star Wars, you have literally the Force. Um, and, and they're able to use certain abilities by having this. Uh, the, the inclusion of sand. Anakin even said it in the prequels. I, you know, I hate sand. It gets everywhere. You know, every single time we have a Star Wars project, it seems we always go to a desert planet or here's Tatooine again. Can we please just get away from Tatooine? Well, what is Dune about? Dune is about the planet Arrakis. The, the, the planet Arrakis is literally called Dune. And what are dunes? Out there in the sand, ladies and gentlemen. Both stories have space slugs and worms. They both have raiders and fremen. Good and evil are clearly defined in these shows, in these franchises. But did George Lucas ever acknowledge borrowing from Dune? We know that uh, Frank Herbert definitely acknowledged Star Wars borrowed from Dune. In a 1979 interview with Omni Magazine, Herbert expressed his dissatisfaction with the similarities between Star Wars and Dune when he said, I understand that Star Wars is going to be one of the biggest money-making films ever. I'm not sure I like that. It's been my life for six years, and it's kind of like seeing someone else run off with your wife. Frank Herbert was not a fan of what George Lucas did, basically dumbing down his story, picking elements from it, and making it more kid-friendly, when Dune is certainly geared towards adults. Frank Herbert also said, I would have said no to most of it. It's not that I don't think Star Wars is fun, it's just that it's not science fiction. It's a fantasy set in space. It has a lot of elements in mythology and mysticism, which I don't believe are science fictional. Who better to talk about science fiction and what it is than Frank Herbert? Agree or disagree? Now, George Lucas has acknowledged inspirations that he took that helped him create Star Wars. Here are some of them, or most of them, actually. The Flash Gordon serials. The Akira Kurosawa films. Joseph Campbell's The Hero with a Thousand Faces. The works of J.R.R. Tolkien. And science fiction pulp magazines. Lucas has also mentioned Vietnam War, things with uh, you know, the President of the United States in the 1970s, Richard Nixon, you know, uh, the guns of Navarone, Dam Busters, even the Knights Templar. But he's never said a word about Dune. And you can certainly make uh, a case that it's Dune that had the biggest influence overall on Star Wars. Everybody's not going to see it that way. But I can certainly understand how someone would. Very interesting that George Lucas never gave Frank Herbert his flowers. 
Now, could that be because Frank Herbert's early comments? You know, he basically ripped on Star Wars from the outset. So, you know, it stands to reason, George Lucas being the man that he is, you know, people people acknowledge George Lucas as being somebody that will fire your butt. He had many conflicts with many people when he was at the top of his game. And he was somebody who wanted total control of everything that he was doing. George Lucas became huge, way bigger than Frank Herbert ever thought of being. Uh, but that doesn't mean that Dune's not just as great of a franchise, if not even better. So Star Wars, for many, certainly ripped Dune off. Quite a few people believe that George Lucas ripped off Frank Herbert's sci-fi universe. And as we have already acknowledged, Frank Herbert believes it himself, or he believed it. So it's it's a really interesting comparison between the two. Uh, despite the longstanding grumbles, no one can deny that both of these series are essential science fiction. Lucas, however, still should have taken Herbert out to dinner. Couldn't agree with that more. Written by our friends over at theweek.com. Good job on that. Certainly agree. George, you're not gone. Give Frank Herbert his flowers. Because I'll tell you what. What Denny Villeneuve has done for Dune and reviving it and bringing it back and making it relevant again compared to what Disney has done to Star Wars, where they have all but destroyed it and killed it, it is fading away right before our very eyes. The man deserves praise and flowers for sure. Thanks for being here at Echo Base Network. Let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll see you guys on the next one.